When you first see a negative review of your dealership, ask yourself, would a reasonable person believe this? If there's merit to the complaint, you have some work to do to prevent future issues. I think every time you see a negative review, your first thought should be, is there any measure of truth to this? I know it's going to be glorified towards, you know, telling a horrible story and trying to make it look worse than maybe it was, but is there even a measure of truth? Would a reasonable person feel that way if they encountered this? And that should be the first thing that we do when we see a negative review before you even think about responding. What's interesting about negative reviews and, and our, our, this, I do this too. Whenever I see something about uh, my company that I don't like, it, it, you know, it affects you. I know that it does. We take that personally. But we have to move past the personal part and see if there's opportunity for improvement. And that's what's laced in every negative review is that, that ability to be the fly on the wall and hear what consumers are actually saying about you and about your business. If you can take that information and fix process, I, I firmly believe every negative review is really, you know, the legitimate ones are a, uh, a process breakdown. It's usually because something didn't happen the way that it was supposed to. And when we know that, we can adjust process and try to fix things to uh, avoid that circumstance in the future.